hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today we have uh, lumos home solar system and this solar system is said to be used in uh in the home all right it can power small home theater led tv maximum of 50 watts laptops uh dc fan radio cctv camera maximum of two cctv cameras and uh, dc bulb mobile phone it can power it can charge your mobile phones and ac standing fan clippers decoders and many more also sewing machines those appliances i've mentioned is what this that we are looking right here on the screen can power in the home so um so the problem of this one is that it's not powering any appliances anymore it's turning on but it's not powering any appliance it's not charging phone it's not doing nothing but it's just showing the power on the screen right there so i'm going to show you how um, i'm going to show you first the problem like i said remember i said it can charge a phone but this is worse that it cannot even charge a phone okay guys so i'm going to show you uh with the phone as you can see i've plugged the charger inside the phone but there's no sign of charging at all so my charger is fine the phone is fine but this appliance right here i mean this solar system right here is is, is not bringing out any voltage uh for these appliances at home to be used so i'm using my cell phone as, as an example for you so the person that was the owner came and said it's not working at all he's tried to plug a lot of things but it's not working at all so guys i'm going to show you how to repair a problem like this when you encounter a problem like this so i have already removed the screws around it so you can get a screwdriver and be safe after removing the screw the first thing that's the most important thing is to look for physical damages it will help you a lot as a technician all right or wherever you are if you, even if you're not a technician it will help you just take a look at the pcb for any burnt rust or bad component on the pcb all right because any component that is burnt or bad can cause this type of problem guys okay so um i've i'm done with examining that pcb and the pcb appears to be looking so good another thing we need to look at is the battery area where the where the uh, voltage is being supplied to the main pcb the voltage from the battery side and this is this where i'm opening right here is where the fuse is okay you're going to see right now so we are going to troubleshoot and look for possible uh, places where this problem can come from okay so that is the fuse right there it's been refilled so i'm going to open up the fuse and check the fuse if it's blown or if the fuse is still okay all right guys if the fuse is blown we are going to uh, replace it or repair it so if it's not blown we continue the troubleshooting and as you can see i'm going to take a closer look with you and as you can see the fuse is blown right there the fuse is blown and there's always a marking on the top of this fuse guys so this one is 2 um 2.0 or 2.0 right there sorry that's 20. so we need to get a replacement of this exact fuse okay if it's blown replace it but if you don't get a replacement part this is what you can also do you can also bridge the two uh, pins where it's broken you can bridge it inside just the way i did right here okay guys so you can just tear the plastic cover a little bit so you can be able to solder uh, the pins together so don't use um, too thick wire to bridge that area so just use uh thin wire because uh that is serving as a sort of protective component for this whole system this solar system okay so now after uh the fuse has been installed probably if you want to replace it has been replaced or it has been breached so we are coupling back the system and it's writing general error if you get this type of error all you need to do is to hold the two buttons right below uh just below the screen you hold it down until the light on the screen 
turns off so immediately the light turns off you release those keys okay so it means you are trying to reset the system back to normal all right so don't freak out if you get this type of um notification on the screen all right guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks all right uh the system is loaded right now and what you're expecting is the signal from the screen we are all right so um yeah the signal is back as you can see so we are good to go now let's plug in the usb and let's see if this works or if it doesn't as you can see it's working perfectly all right guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks okay thank you for liking my videos as you can see it's receiving good current and good voltage right now don't forget to like this video share and subscribe turn on the notification bell icon see you in my next video bye